bad one, it's a barracuda. <laughs> and I'm more excited than a two-year-old at a Wiggles concert. <laughs> <laughs> How did you drink out of it? <laughs> Hey bloody turkeys, welcome back. We're in the Mosman River region. Now we're near Port Douglas and uh, it's a pretty spectacular place. We just went to the Mosman Gorge, we rolled in and there was about 300 car. It was the most commercialized thing we've ever seen. So we thought we'd skip the system, drive around the other side of the river and have a look for free and there's absolutely no one here. Not sure if there's crocs. We Googled it and it says it's less likely, but that's still a no from us. Less likely is still some sort of likeliness. So. Anyway, we're going to go up into the Dane Tree in this episode. Last time we did Cape York, we missed this whole section. Uh, Dane Tree, we're going to do the Bloomfield and also get a beer at the Lion's Den Hotel. I'm really looking forward to that beer. So that should consume the next 20 minutes of your lives. Uh, it should be a sick episode. Pulled up here, we're at this creek down the road from the Big Four, so we're staying at this caravan park. But I've found this sneaky little creek down here, and I reckon there's going to be a fish in it. I bought a new rod and reel, and uh, let me tell you, it yeah, is a beauty. budget was 20, 250 and, and I it, spent 320 So, <laughs> I better catch a fish because Sarah's going to kick my ass otherwise. So, let's go down and have a bit of a fish, I reckon. I reckon we could be on here, eh? Looks real fishy. Couple big deep holes, no one around. And uh, I'll, I'll put up what river we're in on the screen now. I'm not too sure off the top of your head, but I'm just running a little vibe because uh, I bought these in the Kimberleys last year and I still haven't caught a fish on them. So I'm actually a bit um, optimistic they even work. So You're a bit optimistic they even work. Sorry, pessimistic. <laughs> the dead opposite. <laughs> thinking there might be like a mangrove jack maybe in here. Barra, pretty optimistic on a barra, but it looks real jacky. Yeah, this new rod is just a pearl compared to what we were fishing with before. It's so much more responsive. You definitely get what you paid for when it comes to the fishing rods and I've only just, and reels, and I've only just worked that out. So it's not the top end, but it's definitely not the bottom end now as well. So happy days. I'm just trying to think if I was a big barra, where would I sit? Away from you. Probably away from me, but <laughs> apparently Barra, I've been doing some research, they're really lazy fish, so they don't like sitting in like the current. So they'll like tuck themselves under a stick or behind a rock or like some sort of structure because they don't like swimming against the current. So. Sounds like us. Yeah, that's like us. <laughs> <laughs> Little lazy humans. <laughs> It's not a barracuda. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a barramundi, it's a barracuda. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <laughs> I mean, you can sort of say you caught a barra. Barracuda. <laughs> Instead of a barramundi. Look at that. I gotta be careful not to high stick my new rod, but how's that? Christened it with a barracuda. I think that's a barracuda. I'll get it up there. Watch out of the way. Look at that. Barracuda. Ooh. I think that's a barracuda. People will correct you in the comments anyway. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, first fish on the new rod. 
I bought the um, old Tegra with the Naski on it. Maybe we can talk about it once you put him back in the water. Yeah, probably. <laughs> can you get a quick photo? All right, I need a... Grab this dog. <laughs> barracuda. Let me know in the comments if that's actually a barracuda, because I have no idea. That's a bit of a catch and release situation. So oh! <laughs> Full belly flop. G'day guys, we hope you're enjoying today's episode. If you have smiled throughout this episode, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the easiest way to support us and it's free. We've got a little bit of an announcement. We are heading down to Outback Equipment's open day on the 2nd of September in Brisbane. We got some sick merch. Shut It's like the first <laughs> merch drop. I don't know why I just threw a shocker, but we got some sick merch. Nah, it's actually pretty cool merch. It's stuff that we would wear. We're really excited and proud about it and we cannot wait to show you guys. So that is going to be the launch day of the merch come down get some show specials um, all the big names in the full drive caravan boating industry are going to be there and there's going to be some sick specials where you can save some really good coin on products so come down say good day to us um, we're going to be down there all bloody day down below there's going to be a link uh, they're free tickets you just got to secure them that's all because there's going to be a limited number of people that are going so make sure you get in first don't miss out get your tickets that are free and uh, we'll see you down there second of september Outback Equipment in Brisbane. So we've hooked the van up, we've left Port Douglas and we're heading to one of the most incredible places in the world. I'm sure everyone knows exactly where we're going. We're going to the Daintree Forest and we're going to be- Rainforest, Daintree Rainforest. Oh. <laughs> and it's the oldest rainforest in the world, I think. Fact check that, I don't yeah, know about I thought, that. <laughs> I, think, I thought I heard that somewhere. But anyway, we've done the Great Barrier Reef and we're actually going to rename that reef because all it's named after is it acting as a barrier to the mainland Australia so let's recall it the Great Barry Reef after that's Barry. Ribbon Barry. <laughs> how much is the ferry? Oh we don't know. No idea but hopefully they take card we'll let you guys know how much that was. I think it's just like a very short ferry but you go across the ferry to get to the Daintree. And the Daintree River we're crossing and hopefully like Sarah said if they don't have card they're going to be bloody taking a leaf out of the uh, Noosa North Shore Ferries <laughs> book if it's cash only sure and uh, the ATO might be getting them as well. I'm not sure if we're meant to book this or not. Imagine if they said, oh, what's your booking number? They're going to have FPOS. <laughs> Surely they've got FPOS. This is a well-oiled machine compared to Noosa North Shore. The old bloody tap and go is going to get a workout. How are you going? Very good, and yourself? Good. good Could thing. we grab a, I think it's a bloody return ticket, is it? Yeah, you're coming back this way? Yeah. Magic. You can always park it up and then head take the car up and go yeah. and come back to it. Probably go get a beer at the lines then maybe hopefully. Yeah. I'll um Six grab a tax four. receipt please as oh, well. The receipt love and they are your two tickets. Make oh, sure wicked. you've got them when you come back. Yep. Yeah. Too easy. Thank, Thank you. you. Have, have a good, good one. one. See you later. Enjoy. Catch up. We bought some of them. We got pole position, so we're waiting for the ferry to come across, and I'm more excited than a two-year-old at a Wiggles con today. I've been dreaming of the Dane Tree for a long bloody time. It doesn't feel real at the moment. This spot is literally the furthest place away from WA Southwest, so yeah, to finally get here is just mint, and uh, here we go. We're about to jump on the ferry. I think they're almost ready for us. Okay, got up the cruiser on the van, off thanks, please. Definitely got to come in and do this if you're in the area. Car, I'm very glad we're dropping the caravan off at a caravan park and we're not doing the plume field with it. Because it is yeah. steep country. I know we could, but at the end of the day, 
and people do, but yeah. a caravan's not recommended. So if you can just drop it off, it's gonna make your life yeah. a whole lot easier. But and you can actually enjoy it too, like yeah. But yeah, anyway, I'm a stress head, so I can just imagine what I'd be like with the caravan. This is sick. I'm frothing this, eh? This place. Oh, the waterfall on the road. Actually, insane. Oh god, he is so beautiful. And Leroy is absolutely <laughs> purring up the hill. It's Both. like echoing off the sides of the rainforest. It's giving sounds. a sick V8 note. Do you spit everywhere? That's how that's how delicious it sounds. <laughs> Sarah's salivating out the mouth. It sounds that good. Well. <laughs> got into camp here. I reckon we reverse it in, but we're nest nestled into this rainforest and it is pretty spectacular to be in here. This place is wicked and there's absolutely not a soul here. Where the ferry was packed, so we thought it was going to be packed. And but... we're on site 22, which is my lucky number. Yep, site 22 <laughs> is Sarah's birthday. It's Sarah's birthday, if anyone was wondering. And yeah, I'll pull us in here, I reckon, but I think this is going to do us perfectly. This is freaking mint. I'm actually a little bit excited. A little bit of a pickle down under. <laughs> well, it's lucky we got a powered site. <laughs> How sick is this camp set up? Look at that, we are literally in the jungle. Feel like Tarzan and Jane here. But we have a dilemma. Now, this is probably not the most world ending dilemma. However, it's still a dilemma now. I'll show you, and I won't even say what it is. You already know, so. Are you kidding me? That's the first time in my whole life I've been slightly short on length. <laughs> I don't know whether to pull the van forward or um, go down to the bloody local servo and try to find a little hose extension spewing i'm sure that's happened to one of you guys out there too to be honest though that problem is probably not really much of a problem there's a lot of people going through much bigger problems i think we're gonna short hose. <laughs> i was just saying that's the first time i've ever been short on length welcome to my life so for now i'm just going to fill up the water tanks because it does reach the water tanks because they're a bit further this way but theoretically this should be the best tasting water i've ever had in my life coming straight out the dane tree let's see That's pretty bloody good, to be honest with you. Sarah, you should taste the water. Too good not to share. So Sarah's gonna have a little bit of Daintree rainforest water. You're drinking out of it Kimberly style there, eh? <laughs> How did you drink out of it? Like that. Very good, very good water. She tastes said like... it all comes from underground. It gets um, tested once a year. Once a year. Okie dokie, so I'm inside making some lunch. We're on the Tom Yum soups. But we are staying at Dane Cherry Siesta. It was $35 a night for unpowered and $40 a night for powered. So we went with the powered. Um, but it is very, what's the word? <laughs> Heaps of canopy. So you probably won't get much solar. So you're probably gonna have to go powered anyway. But yeah, it is beautiful in here. And we've got this nice little spot that's super protected and private. So we are very, very happy campers. around we are in the Daintree rainforest and we've paid to come on this treetop walk now this is not just any treetop walk they give you these things now <laughs> this looks like a back to the future gadget but uh, this is actually a mobile phone and it will tell you numbers as you walk around and it gives you educational literature on what's going on in that zone so and Dylan's you... listening to the audio and I've got the book <laughs> <laughs> oh g'day g'day doctor how you going yeah, that's good. Hey, um, I'm just calling up about that um, big red rash on my um, tackle box. Okay, do you have any um, treatment for that? Oh, cut! Cut! <laughs> it's 
giant huntsman's gonna grass up in his mouth. Oh, Alright, which one do you reckon is the male, which is the female? You are right. <laughs> you just kicked the baby. That's what I wanted to catch the other day. Yeah, I feel like this is the closest you'll ever get. That's a, a little that's, barra. That's only a little barra. That barracuda I caught was probably bigger than that. Yeah, well they probably can't grow big because they're in this tiny little pond. Yeah, you wouldn't want them to, eh? Be a good Christmas dinner. Poor little things. Why you look so Come on Hello. Yeah, mate, it's for you. <laughs> That's a giant wombat. I thought you were a giant wombat. I, I'm related to him more so than any other dinosaur here, for sure. Hey, hey Daryl, is that Daryl? Hey mate, how you going? Yeah, sorry, it's um, it's John Rogers here and uh, <coughs> I'm feeling a bit cooked mate. I think I'm <coughs> eating a bit too much butter over the weekend and uh, yeah, you should see what it's done to me. Oh, but hey mate, I won't be coming into work if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you Monday. Yeah. See you mate. That's the big cast. Oh, it's got babies too. Oh my god, stop! It's a cast with a baby. How sick is that? Some cassowaries. Baby cassowary, and that's his dad, I think, because he's small. Look at that, you're gonna be cassa joking. We are in the rainforest and it is piercing down. But, <laughs> but when in the dane tree, you have to go for a swim. We can't go to all of these cool spots and not get in the water. So we're at one where there's guaranteed no crocodiles. Mason swimming hole. So there's a big sign at the start saying there's no crocs in the swimming hole. They're in our, they're all in our burgers. So <laughs> yeah, croc burgers up the top there and check this joint out. Isn't that just a tropical oasis? We are it loving this. Looks like it's the most so cool with the rain on it. Like. It's pissing down. We're gonna get that wet anyway, so we thought, bugger it, we might as well come down when there's no one down here because it's raining. This is a tourist hotspot, and to get it by yourself is just ridiculous. So there's archer fish down here. I don't know if you can see these. Look at them. They're all archer fish or jungle perch. I don't know which ones they are. I'm getting in. I'm not wasting any time. What do you reckon? Don't dive in. It's shallow. Killing these rocks. Just Oh, this is even Barry. <laughs> Jump in. Far out, this is seriously cool. In the jungle, own private swimming hole, and it is piercing down. 